Installing CurseForge in 2024 should be super, super simple. I have made multiple videos in the past, but I'm gonna make this guide again. It should take no longer than three minutes to install CurseForge. First thing you wanna do is click on the second link in the description and that'll bring you to our written guide on how to download and install CurseForge where we have photos, we have the written guide on how to do this. And this is an updated guide for those of you that prefer to read. However, if you just wanna follow along the video, all you have to do is scroll down and click where it says download CurseForge here, which will redirect you over here, the curseforge.com official website. Of course, you could always scroll down and download the Mac or the Linux option, but for this video, we're going to be using the standalone for Windows. So if you're using Windows as well, I recommend you just click where it says download standalone, which then will start the download automatically. In my case, it asked me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download right away. Once you have CurseForge downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop that file that we just downloaded into our desktop. If you're using Chrome, you can find that file within your recent download history. If you're using any other browser, you can probably find this file in your downloads folder within your computer. Anyways, once we have the file, all we have to do really to install CurseForge is double click it and that will open the menu, the, the installer for CurseForge rather, I should say, where we have to click next, unless you want to change the language, of course, you can change it, click next, click that you accept the terms and you can change the installation folder if you need to. However, right now it's not letting me because in order to change the installation folder, you need to run the app as an administrator and then click next again and just wait for CurseForge to install. It's really that simple. It should take no longer than a minute or so. It depends on your internet speed because it's downloading the files. And also it depends on your computer because it has to install the files after. Once CurseForge installed, you're gonna get the CurseForge opening here. It's gonna have you select your game. However, if it is the first time you're installing it, it might have you do a little intro. You could always skip that intro. And then it's gonna put you in this screen where you're going to select the game that you wanna play using CurseForge. In this case, I play Minecraft. I don't know what you're downloading it for. I'm using it for Minecraft where you could browse mod packs and you could do stuff in here. You could make servers or you could join servers through CurseForge. In here, as you can see, you could copy the IP and join the servers. However, if you're using CurseForge to play Minecraft and you wanna make your own server, I'm gonna leave this link in the description. It's gonna be the first link in the description. Let's say that you wanna use any mod pack from CurseForge. Well, you can make a server here in Apex Hosting and they will actually make the server for you just by you clicking a couple of buttons. They will set up everything for you. You can play with your friends. Of course, this server is hosted online, so you're not putting your computer at risk. And it's, like I said, it's gonna take like less than five minutes to set up. You get 25% off if you use the first link in the description, which is great, and the server will be completely compatible with your mod pack from CurseForge. So this is for those of you that want to use CurseForge for Minecraft. Anyways, for whatever game you're trying to use CurseForge, that was the guide on how to install CurseForge. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.